Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing an interview appropriate makeup and I'm going to start out with that lightest shade as you can see there. And I'm going to be applying that directly into my crease area just as a transition shade for the other colors we're going to be using. And I'm going to be doing this in windshield wiper motions. Then I'm going in with that shade there, kind of has an orangish undertone to it. These don't have any um, names to them. And I'm going to be applying this one more directly into my crease um, just to kind of give it more of a color since that one was so close to my skin tone. Um, and I'm going to be using a crease brush, actually the same brush that I used before, and doing those exact same windshield wiper motions and just applying it to the amount of my liking. I'm not going to go too crazy today because we are doing this for an interview look. Then I'm going in with that dark brown shade there. It's very matte as well and be applying that in directly into my crease with a pencil brush and on the outer corners of my eye. And we're just taking that darker shade into the crease to kind of help give it more definition. Then we're going in with foundation today and I'm using the Ultra BB Cream in light and I'm going to apply this all over my face, face with a um, brush and I'm also going to bring that down onto my neck. Then I'm going in with a cream concealer and I'm going to be using this as concealer and highlight today, applying it under my eyes, on my chin, and my forehead. And I'm going to first apply it with a brush, as you can see here. And then I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender and blend this out. And I'm going to make sure that it's blended really well. Um, you don't want any to think anything sharp going in for an interview. I'm going to try and keep this very subtle as well. Make sure you are dressed um, appropriately. Also, I would recommend not wearing any harsh perfumes. You don't want to do anything too distracting. Um, you want them to be focused on why you're there for the job, not, oh, you have you know, very intense makeup or your scent or anything like that. Um, you might want to do more intense makeup if you're going for some type of interview to do with makeup. Um, but just for a regular everyday interview, I would not go too intense with the makeup. I would keep it very natural. Then I'm going in with my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to use this to set anywhere that I applied that concealer under my eyes especially. This is my favorite under eye setting powder. It's very light so I don't feel like it creases or applies to my lines in any way. Then for bronzer today, we're going in with the e.l.f. bronzer, and this does have some shimmer to it, so we're not going to be contouring with it. We're going to just be applying it as a bronzer on our forehead, cheeks, and neck. Then for blush, we're going in with our e.l.f. blush and we're going to be applying this to our cheekbones. We're wanting to keep the face looking natural as well as the eyes.
Then for highlight, I'm using another e.l.f. product. This is the highlight palette, and I'm going to be using the lightest shade in the palette. Um, this palette, all the highlights in here are very simple, and I'm going to be using that to highlight my cheekbones and my nose and my cupid's bow. Then I'm going in with my Rimmel um, eyeliner in Nude, and I'm going to be applying this to my waterline to help those eyes look very open and awake. Then I'm going in with some um, regular black eyeliner and I'm going to be applying this on the top. I'm not doing a wing or anything too thick, just keeping that very close to my lash line. Then we're going in with some mascara from Tarte and we'll be applying this to the top and bottom lashes. Then for the hair we're going in with Not Your Mother's um, brand of hairspray. This is a texturizing spray and hairspray, hairspray in one. I really like this product. It's about $5 at Target. I believe you can get a Walmart as well. And Ulta also sells this brand. Um, and I just ran my fingers through to loosen those curls up. I did curl it with the straightener. And then I'm going to spray that texturizing spray through it. And then at the end, you can spray your hair with a finishing to get that hairspray. This helps gives you some texture and volume as well. <clears throat> and it is a medium hold. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please check back every Tuesday and Thursday for a new one. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos and tutorials like these. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.